The ground has been broken here at Brock University as they are one step closer to completing their project of the Zone Fitness Center expansion. And when we started to look at what other institutions across this province were offering to their students, specifically uh, with gym space offered, we realized we were in last place for gym space. Um, and when there's a direct correlation between a, student ex a student's experience and the levels of retention uh, that an institution experiences, Faisal took charge, uh, began gathering the data that was needed, built a memorandum of understanding, and then brought it to the forefront of our students. And uh, ultimately, uh, they voted in favor uh, last March. And uh, now here we are today after a lot of hard work. The expansion of the Zone Fitness Center was made possible by the work of the University Students Union, which ran a referendum to fund the project through a $17 per credit fee to be paid by full and part-time undergraduate students starting in 2020. BUSU, our student union, um, worked with the um, board as well as uh, the administration of the university to take a look at how the university could front end uh, the funding for the project and as students start to actually utilize uh, uh, the, the zone expansion area, um, it's at that time that they'll start to uh, make a contribution uh, to the financing of the project. And that means that we're able to uh, move the project ahead in terms of it being available to our students, um, but as well um, being being able to work in partnership um, with our students uh, to be able to have this project come forward. So being uh, fiscally responsible, but at the same time meeting our student needs. I think I want to blend and want to match in terms of the ability of our student union to work with the university to be able to have such an achievement. So a moment to celebrate um, uh, across the entire university. The current fitness centre, which is the smallest in Ontario, was constructed in 2001 when Brock's enrollment was significantly less than it is today. This expansion is going to give everyone an opportunity to work out. It's going to give everyone space. Um, it's much needed because there's a lot of people I know that don't even come to the Brock Gym because they, are, they don't want to wait and they don't want to be fighting for equipment or waiting around for dumbbells. They want to have a space where they have room. And th with this expansion, everybody can come and work out here now. They don't have to worry about uh, not having the space they need. And it's going to be great for the students. Part of the portfolio that falls to me is student wellness and accessibility. So I know firsthand how important facilities are for students to work out, recreate, uh, bond with one another, become part of a larger community. But the, phys the physical uh, um, environment in which we're embedded in the university is critical for that. So students, it's absolutely essential to their health and well-being. And I'm delighted about today and this addition to our lovely complex on, this, on the west side of campus. So I think this is going to be a phenomenal tool moving forward to uh, increase enrollment. I think it's going to be a phenomenal tool to increase retention and just make sure our Badgers experience here at Brock is one that's so uh, amazing it's unparalleled to any other institution in the province and beyond. The expansion of the zone fitness facility will provide students with a much needed space to accommodate the need for physical activity. This expansion is another step forward in enhancing the experience that Brock University provides for their students. Reporting from St. Catharines for the Source, this is James J. Hall.